What the crap? Somehow I managed to snag a crappie. <laughs> Come on, dude. Snagged a little crappie somehow. Got him on the tail. Little crappie. Nothing too big. <laughs> Wrong way, dude. <laughs> He splashed my face. Probably splashed the lens too. Yep. Alright, I gotta clean that. Alright. Let's go. I snagged another crappie. What is this? This is my third crappie that I snagged today. So they're hanging out in there. Not too deep though. Is pissed. This is the third crappie I snag. I don't know how I'm snagging them. I think they're just like kind of shallow up to the water. I think they're about like two feet, maybe less than that, probably a foot and a half to two feet around the surface. And I'm like swiping my lure every time I do a little crank, a little jerk, it's snagging up from up here. I think that's what's going on because they're not really biting it. I can feel them, I can feel it like, like every time I retrieve my lure, I can feel myself hitting the crappie and they kind of just spook off. Well, that's the third one I snagged, so I don't know, I'm trying to catch them. Anyway, I don't know how I'm snagging them, but somehow I'm snagging them. Let's see if I can catch another one or Try not to snag another one. Hey, shut up, shut up, shut up. Knowing ducks. Get out of here, ducks. I accidentally hit a duck with my lure. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, that was a bite right there and I just missed it. Dang it. She got a nice bite. I really don't, uh, but the weird thing is I'm snagging them. So I really don't think they want to eat this. I really think that um, they are getting spooked by it and they're like smashing into it. And that's probably what they're snagging. So I'm probably gonna switch to something else if I don't physically catch him in the mouth. Hi guys, I got one. Crappie on a hang on a sec. <clears throat> Caught this little crappie on this little um sexy tail shad. They love these things apparently. But this is the first one right now. I had to switch up from what I was using. It wasn't working. They were kind of just um, getting snagged on my lure instead of actually hooking themselves in the mouth. They weren't really eating them, but um, yeah. Sexy tail shad, nice little crappie. Oh, <laughs> in my head. I just let him go. Let's get a little closer. There he goes. Hey, 
anyway, that was super quick. That was like, I think like second cast after me putting this little rig on. So what I'm doing right now is I just got this little bobber and I got about, uh, I wanna say like 24 inches of leader line towards this and I'm just moving it slowly. I'm just like barely twitching the, um, barely twi twitching the bobber. And what it does when I twitch it, it makes this little tail bounce like this up and down. And we just go crazy for that. It's just a sexy tail shad pink and green little tail color. Let's see if we can catch some more though. That's the first one. That one. Other crappie. Again, sexy tail shad. Number two. Kind of small, but they're fun to catch. I like the way they hit it. It's pretty quick. Number two, though. Sexy tail shad, baby. This is a little nicer. Look how they freaking eat it. Check this out before I take the hook out. Look how freaking how he choked it. You just swallow the whole thing. The hook's like. <laughs> sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, like I was saying. Um, yeah, these guys are like freaking choking it. Like the hook is like barely like right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're freaking just choking that little sexy shad. Sexy tail shad. Oh, finally got him loose. Number five. They're, they love this freaking thing. Let's keep going. I think I found a good spot. I think I found the hot spot, guys. I think I know where they're at. Stupid pool. There's another one. Another one, guys. They're just hitting it instantly. Barely even had it in the water. Another crappie. Number six. Cute, guys. Peace out, dude. Six to tell Shad, baby. Another one. Number two. Just choked it. He just choked it. Another little fish. Sorry, dude. I know that's a high drop, but you'll be all right. Yeah, he's fine. All right, guys. A little quick update. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of some little bit of tricks to catch these crappie. Just go to your local pond. Well, make sure you, there's actual crappie in there. But you know, you kind of have to find out. You have to go to the pond. But um, what you want to do first is look for a bridge. If there's a bridge like this one. That's like your first spot that you want to go. 
is the bridges and cast underneath it. You're gonna have to like measure how long you want your leader to be, depending on the depth of your your depth the depth of your oh look another fish right there the depth of your pond. Like I don't this place isn't very deep, but like I said, you have to find like you know some type of coverage. Shade is a must. Like right now, I was fishing underneath the bridge, but they stopped biting because the sun went down and it the uh, the sunlight's casting underneath the bridge, so they're not gonna be there. They kind of like kind of dipped right now. I'm like on top of the bridge and they're hanging around these shadows all around here. So don't fish anywhere there, there's like sunlight that's not gonna do you any good. Fish where there's shade, like right here, it's a lot colder. Like right when I pulled that fish out, that guy was like about. I don't know. He was he wasn't very deep. Probably about about 2 feet deep. And they're really cold down there, so look for shade. Definitely is a must. And for bait. Sorry guys, kind of hard to for bait, go with a sexy tail shad or some type of gulp minnow. That will do you guys perfectly. If you guys are from around the area, then you guys know this pond and you guys know where probably know how to catch these fish but if not watch this video and you know you'll catch them all right guys well that's gonna be the end of this episode it was a good day i was able to catch um crappie like i wanted to with something a little different that sexy tail shot did amazing i i can't believe it did that good actually but and what i like the most is that I did not catch any bluegill with it. It was only crappie, so that's always a plus. Trying to catch like crappie and then you're catching a bunch of bluegills, it's irritating. So by far, I think that's the best um, little, what, you, what do you want to call it? Like little swim bait, little jig, little, I don't know, some little type of finesse type of jig, but um, I think overall that was, that was a pretty good day. I caught like, I think like 10 of them. Nothing too big. Again, I have no idea where the big ones are. They're probably somewhere deeper where I need my kayak and you know, something else. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> See you guys later.